So last time we talked about saccades. I'm going to leave the saccade diagram up here for you because now we're going to switch gears and talk about pursuit. So pursuit is the slow movement. So we're pursuing a slow moving target. We don't need the fast movement, which is the saccade. The smooth pursuit is generated not from the frontal eye field, but from the parietal occipital temporal region. And as opposed to the frontal eye field, which is contralaterally generated, the parietal occipital temporal lobe ipsilateral to the smooth pursuit is the site of origin of the pursuit mechanism. And just like what we talked about with the saccades, it has to use the same final common pathway. For the vertical gaze center in the thalamomesencephalic junction, that's cranial nerves three and four. But in the pons, the parapontine reticular formation and the sixth nerve are for the horizontal gaze. So instead of contralateral frontal eye field firing for saccades, we have ipsilateral parietal occipital temporal lobe firing for pursuit. It runs down to the exact same location in the pons for horizontal gaze. The sixth nerve nucleus talks to the third nerve nucleus, vita, the interneuron, the medial longitudinal fasciculus, and we're off to the races. But instead of a saccade, a pursuit movement. So the supranuclear pathway is similar between the pursuit and the saccade pathways. The only difference is the site of origin in the cortex is contralateral frontal eye fields for saccades and ipsilateral parietal occipital temporal cortex for the pursuit. Everything else runs the same pathway, the same final common path.